hi hi let's do some cooking today let's change it up no painting today maybe later on tonight because i really like it and let's do some cooking i have pork chops that i will be doing let me move this so you can see so i got my little pork chop here i actually have eight pork chops so if you just need four i think one is enough for each but so it's good to have leftovers and so let me show you i'm gonna take my my rings off we ain't cooking with rings so i have i'm gonna have them in the oven so i've got my pork chops right here show you big big and tasty i have my olive oil because i'm going to put them on the skillet first i have these two cast iron skillets and i'm going to pop them in the oven i'm first going to uh, cook them really short on each side in the skillet and then i'm going to put it in the oven i already preheated the oven uh 400 so here i've got one cup of parmesan cheese and i have one cup of some gluten-free uh, breadcrumb so i did have this one i was using this one didn't have they didn't it wasn't really enough so i added just the regular regular ones but the other one has like italian seasoning it's really good then I have some, um, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then like a half a teaspoon of pepper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all of these, the spices, the breadcrumbs, and the Parmesan cheese on a plate. And I'm going to dip my pork in that. And then I'm going to put it on the skillet. I'm going to coat it and I'll come back. I mixed, my, I mixed all of this together on the plate. And now I'm going to put a little bit of... There is the oven. Look what I've got here too. You know we got to have that. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil both on the skillet. You know, you just put a little bit both skillets and i'm going to put it in a high high heat so i'm putting on that almost the highest because i want to just cover the pork and then i want to put it in the oven and let it finish cooking so a little bit of oil on the pork i guess i have to wait until this one gets hot I want to have with it. I didn't even think of it. So I'm going to have boiled potatoes. I think I might want to turn it down a little bit. And then I'm going to have some avocados with it too. All right, let's see. Let's put a little bit of oil. I use my hands. That's the best tools that you can ever use. Use the hands. And you do like this. And I am going to put it here to the side because I want them all to cook at the same speed. And you know I'm going to be cleaning my my oil, my olive oil bottle because I'm using this hot, this hot. Um, there is a raw thing. Look at that! Oh, smoking on me. So let's do at least four because we're going to squeeze four of them in one pan on each pan four on each pan a little bit of oil so this grabs on it make sure it goes into the meat a little bit this one is smoking too there's going to be some action going on up in here here are three let me move it 
So this is this is my smoky hot. You take this away. So this is the real deal. This is how we work in the kitchen. Okay, perfect. But it's gonna taste good. So here's one more. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll throw it on the skillet. Let's put it on this baby here. I'll move it over. Hopefully I can make four of them, squeeze the four of them in here. Good luck with that, Ruth. Let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can squeeze this here. Look, everything's possible. Because then with the rest of it, it's gonna cook in the oven. So it's okay if it's not, you know, 100%. So I would say you cook this baby Two minutes, two minutes on each side maybe. Depends on the heat a little bit too. So here's the oil. And then we put it in here. And then we put some more oil. I'll probably have to put the fan on so it might get a little light, loud on us. I hope you can hear me good enough. But you let me know in the comments if if there's anything I need to improve. Or if you want me to cook something. Cook something exciting. Maybe something from my country that you might think it would be interesting to try as well. Alright, let's put this one at baby on the heat. Hold on. That might be a little bit harder. This one, these are so big. I think I'm gonna put the fan on so they won't get that um, alarm system go off on us. Never know. Let me take this up here. The last one. I'll rinse them off really good and then I'll dry them with paper towels before I um, move them over on this little plate here. Alright? Let me see if I can squeeze this big, big one in here. There we go. Oh yes, oh yes. A little hot. I don't think I can manage putting that last one in here. Let's get it here. There we go, look at all that smoke. That's what we call cooking. That's okay. All right, let me turn this away. Oh my God, look at all that smoke. Oh, doggy doggy, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put the fan on. Then I'll turn it around. Yeah, it is smoking. Look, you just get it like this. Can you see it? It's gonna be hot. Like this, on each side. And then, put it in the oven. And the oven is going to take care of the rest. I'm going to have to stay here for a little bit. I'll come back. I'm going to clean up here my mess. I'll come, up, I'll, I'll come back and show you when I put it in the oven. Dun dun. because it's okay if not every single piece is covered because the oven is going to take care of it. So now I'll take it, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to go and put my potatoes on and I cut my potatoes down in small pieces 
and put salt in the water because it cooks faster. And it, it's just something about that if you put a little bit of salt in it, it tastes, it tastes good. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven, well cook my pans, and I'm going to keep them there for about 15 minutes. So it's probably gonna be a little bit longer because I got two pans in there. There we go. Uh, it is hot, I'll tell you that. It's, it's just iron skillets of the bomb. Let me see. There we go. And then we put it on. I'm going to put timer on. I put it on 15 minutes and then I'll check it. And now I'm going to start doing my potatoes and then I'll start my salad. potatoes so I just cut them in pieces like this my water is boiling in my favorite little cute little pot let me see oh let me show you the pot everything has a little sentimental look at that old-fashioned blue with the dots on it so let me just keep it here so I'll put it in here I'm gonna do it with this one so I don't burn myself when I put it in. So that should not take a long time. I like sweet, pota sweet potatoes boiled as well. I put salt in the water already. And I like it with, when you have it with your food, to put a little bit of butter on it. Of course, you know me, a butter and cream and cheese. So let's do these two. These come to pieces as well. Of my big old knife. And I'll just show you. If you get hungry, you can get your little chocolate cake or something, you know, something little bit, little bit snack. So my uh, breadcrumbs mix, now I have all this left. So I'm just gonna keep it in here and I put it in the freezer and I keep it until next time I wanna use it for something different, even chicken or yeah, something different. I think mostly chicken. So I put it in there and put it in the freezer. So now my little potatoes. They just start boiling. My uh, meat is chilling in there. Let me look at it. See if it looks. Oh, starting to look good. Oh, can't wait. I'm gonna do my salad real quick. Mix it all in a bowl. just on the top. Then I got some hard boiled eggs, which I'll probably put in here too. 
So I'll show you when it's all ready. And on the table. Closer here. I'm gonna show you. So I did my, uh, of course I, I cleaned the uh, blueberries and the strawberries. And then I have just cut the pieces off. And I'm gonna do like a triangles because it looks cute in the salad like this not that you need to know so blueberries it might sound weird to have salad with blueberries and strawberries and uh, uh, avocado but it's so good there we go let me see let me look at my it's looking good i think it's ready i gotta finish this up take my meat out and then i'm really going to show you on when it's on the plate here is the food ready so you can it just depends on how you what kind of mood you are in how you want to decorate the plate this is the regular looking with a salad over here and sweet the uh, yeah, sweet potatoes and the pork chop and you can put a little bit of butter on here or more salt and pepper whatever you want i like to play with the eye so <laughs> this is what i decided to do with my plate so i got the salad on the outside the sweet potatoes uh, here and then the meat and then uh, how i'm gonna get to the meat is a different story but so how this is how you can do it it took it didn't take but well, maybe about an hour to do everything. So this is our Wednesday dinner.